How's it going, horror fans? My name is Serge 30, and I'm the host of the Horror with Serge 30 podcast. <clears throat> now, on this show, you will see us doing movie reviews, indie, as well as well-known movies. You will see us doing horror interviews as well, indie, again, as well as well-known movies. Here and there, we do some giveaways and just have a great time on here <clears throat> and just stay put. I have a little monologue for you guys of some episodes I have out already, just a little clips of a few episodes. So you can kind of get an idea of how it's, you know, how the show goes and I hope you enjoy it. Please stay tuned. And I noticed that you have the jaws in the background, which I think is freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's Bruce Shark UK. Um, the guys over there, Martin Raleigh in uh, in England, uh, they sent me that when they became aware of the project. Uh, it's a thirty inch uh, replica. I'll actually, I'll pull her up for you. And uh, she's a beaut. She's pretty accurate um, as far as you know, looking like the movie shark. Mm. Um, and uh, I'm getting a stand. There's a stand that comes with this they're sending that has three yellow barrels from the film in it as well. Wow. So, but, um, yeah, really uh, nice little detail in there. And, um, and then, of course, uh, for the project, we have, this is a uh, McFarland edition Orca with uh, Bruce chomping on Quint back there. Uh, and, uh, you know, Got the barrels and some nice detail. So uh, there's even a little stuff inside. You can see in the cabin, it's got the, the wheelhouse and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people have these. They're uh, they're out there. Um, I wonder what Ja Rule thinks of these two movies. He probably wouldn't even watch these. Nah, I, probably I bet Ja Rule don't even like horror. I bet he, I bet he gets scared. I, I don't know. I think you're I don't know. underestimating Ja. I don't know, man. He might be one of those people. He, lack, he acts hard, but when he's home, <laughs> he hears like, of noise and he like what the hell is that and he runs out the house or something you don't know that'd be some shit Got don't ask how John Rule got involved in this conversation people it just happens yeah, it just <laughs> listen, happened. To listen to a lot of previous episodes and you'll see <laughs> not just John just random shit just happens yeah you never and, know and these, these movies were just like I said they were some of the worst horror movies I've ever seen I agree well and their artwork for it is they have the best artwork their post i mean all those posters that are flipping through those are really good the shirts that they make are good i love the artwork but i just you know like you expected it to be a little bit better mm -hmm. hell yeah if this movie lived up to the artwork this movie would have been amazing yeah if it lived up to the artwork and as far as the artwork goes and the posters and shirts i would i collect horror shirts so i would get a shirt of this movie i don't i'm not Me a too. Fan of the movie but I would definitely get a shirt of this movie just because the, the artwork is so like even if it was one any of these freaking pictures behind me. Mm -hmm. be, I love that one. We'll make an awesome shirt. Yeah. Any of them. That one right there. That one's cool. Mm-hmm. That one. And then yeah, that one's cool too. There's one that I like a lot more than that. That one. That one. That's the mm -hmm. one I'm, I honestly I do them all. I do any of them. Yeah. <laughs> Now, were, were you scared of anything when you were growing up? That's a great question. Yeah, um, one I know I don't remember every single movie that scared me, but one that really stands out to me is Creep Show Part Two. Oh, okay. Thanks for the ride, lady. Thanks for the ride. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea why that's like to this day. I'll watch it and laugh, of course. Mm -hmm. but I remember, like I, at the time, I was one of the young. I was the youngest. Like I have older brother older cousins and all that so you know you're the youngest kind of tag along with them if they let you <laughs> exactly and it was between the ages of five and seven i'm not exactly sure how old i was but i would follow them around play you know all that good stuff but when it came time to watch horror movies we either be at my mother's house or one of my aunt's houses and it was aaron don't wake up mom or aaron don't wake up Ox so and so because if you do we're all gonna get beat because you're crying watching the movie with us <laughs> so i was like okay that deal so anyways we're watching it and I don't know if I don't know if it was during the movie or after the movie, but I had to use the bathroom, but I was scared to go. So mm. I actually, one of them had to like walk me to the bathroom, wait outside the door, use the bathroom, use the bathroom, came back and finished the movie and watched other horror movies from then on. And I don't remember the sleeping arrangements. Then. I don't know, like you know, when you're with as a kids, if you all sleep in one room or whatever the case may be. I'm sure that's how it was, because I know for dance, I didn't sleep alone. <laughs> <laughs> so, but 
like it started from there. But yeah, that scared me. And that's all I can, I'm, I know there's a lot more that scared me. That's just one that really stands out. I remember that scared me. Mm-hmm. And now I watch it, I just laugh. I'm just like, how the hell was this scary? But then I think of being a child and how your imagination just runs crazy. You know it's make believe, but you, your imagination just goes nuts. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it was that. How about you? Um, you know the um, the intro to Tales from the Crypt nice. used to scare the living shit out of me. And like you, like it was always that you know when it was with mom or when I went to my aunt's house and my cousin's house. Mm-hmm. Especially when I went to my aunt's house, my aunt was she would write like horror short stories and read them to us. And you know, grandma would make popcorn and Kool Aid, and we sit in the living room with our blankets and shit. And when she was done telling her a scary story, it was usually around the time that Tales from the Crypt would come on or um, Tales from the Dark Side would come on like right after it. And it, I, I don't know why. It's just the music and just it's still like you, like you, it stands out. It's just distinctively. I can see the whole thing running through my head right now, like the camera just kind of zooming through the graveyard and then up through his little like mausoleum and then down into the basement. As soon as he popped up, I would always like completely have to have my face covered at that point because I don't know it was just when he popped up out of that coffin and that whole entrance just intro just like scared the shit out of me I could watch him the whole rest of the show but just that intro just ruined my life (laughs) it's it's funny you say that because the voice the crypt people voice and Mm -hmm. laugh I call him he's my brother we've known each other since second grade but he told me this when we were kids that that laugh scared him and at the time, I could do the laugh, so I, I don't know why the hell he told me, so I did it. He's like, yo, what the oh. fuck? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, my God. But to make this to make this cooler and kind of funnier, so I do not remember the guy who do, who does the voice of the Crypt Keeper. I can't remember his name, but we met him at a con a couple of years ago. I told him that story. So I, after I told him that story, the whole time he talked to us, he talked in that voice and did the laugh for us. And, you know, it was, it was just so oh. cool. <laughs> That's awesome. How's it going, everybody? Another awesome, fun video. It's your boy, Sir Sturdy. And today is actually a giveaway video. Funny thing, though, is as you can see right here and right here, um, it's an awesome hoodie. It's a nice hoodie. It's hanging up in my closet right now. I wanted to show you guys the actual hoodie like me holding it but because of the colors of it as you guys can see it messes with the green screen so it's right here and right here awesome hoodie and for this giveaway i know i said that when i do my giveaways now it's gonna be 200 like when i hit 200 boom one giveaway when i hit 250 boom random give random another giveaway well when i hit 250 that will be a, this will be a giveaway and what it is it's going to be these this hoodie and then it's going to be um it the original it and then it chapter one and chapter two going along with it the movies with the hoodie and i'll probably put them in the pocket or something fun and ship it off to that winner so start subscribing to my channel get to me get me to that 200 that'll be a random giveaway get me to that 250 and that hoodie will be possibly be yours and I'm telling you, man, it's a thin material. I know you can't really tell from the pictures, but it's a thin material. Really nice. It's it's awesome. You guys, as you again, as you guys can see, it's freaking awesome. So, you know what to do. Probably be here and here. Some you'll see where they're at. You're gonna see. But you guys know what to do. And um, yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for listening to my random horror rants <laughs> it's fun um like rate share review subscribe all that good stuff all across the board youtube podbean itunes wherever you listen to podcasts subscribe to horror research 30 leave a rating leave a like give five stars all that good stuff and I say that because it helps with the algorithms. You know, when you watch a YouTube video, for example, and you see certain videos, it's because you're watching certain types, or you're watching certain videos. Well, those videos get a lot of likes and comments. So you do that for my videos, it'll help out. Same on my podcast. Now, really quick, before I end it, I will say 
if you want to be a guest on the podcast, shoot me an email, horrorwithsir.sturdy. Again, that's horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. What else? What else? Um, I have a Horror with Sir Sturdy Facebook group. Check that out. Feel free to share anything and everything horror related, including your own projects, your own cool stuff. I have a Horror with Sir Sturdy page. That's for my podcast. All my podcast videos will be dropped there from now on. As well as, you know, shared up from YouTube and the audio will also be shared there and other pages and groups, but strictly in my Horror Research 30 page, on the Horror Research 30 page. Um, trying to think of what else, what else, what else? I told you my YouTube, Twitch, Horror, underscore, with, underscore, Sir, underscore, Sturdy. Again, if you want to be a guest, shoot me an email, horrorwithsir.sturdy. Again, that's horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. And we'll have some fun review a movie or if you're someone who's in the movies or involved with movies we can do an interview horror related of course again thank you guys for watching and hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button like i said when i get to 200 that's one giveaway and i get to 250 that's the it giveaway that's the clown and around giveaway best of luck to all of you Share this with your friends. Share this with your family. Tell them to get them, get them likes up there. Get them subscriptions up, subscriptions up there. Hit that notification button. And uh, that's it. We all float down here. You'll float too. And um, as always, I'll see you in your nightmares. Again, I'll see you in your nightmares. So I hope you guys enjoyed that monologue. Give you guys kind of a rundown. Just little ideas of how my show goes. Now if you focus your attention over here, this area, this is where you can find my show. And if you focus your attention over here, this is where my show will be in October. Yes, you see it. You're going to hear it. I will be on Fear Flicks in October. And I'll still be over here, too. Don't worry. I will still be over here. But now you'll be able to catch me in multiple places. Even more multiple places. And I think that's awesome. So big shout out to Fear Flicks. And I can't wait to get started. And as always, I'll see you in your nightmares. And definitely check out the Nightmare Shop. Nightmare Shop LLC. Awesome, amazing stuff like this beanie. You can get posters. Anything you want horror related, you can get. One-stop shop at the Nightmare Shop. I'll see you in your nightmares. They'll make your nightmares come true.